Okay, this is a uh, strategy tutorial for Boston Massacre on what to do after you've won a battle as a soldier. So, Abby was general, she picked me and Jay as the soldiers. Jay played a two, I played a three, so I won the battle. If I'm a patriot, and I pick up a patriot, I play. Um, because then it helps my team out, and I'm, I'm gonna tell the truth as a patriot. If I'm a patriot and I pick up a red coat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I want you guys to burn your guns so that I can get a new card. So let's say I say that and, and Jay gets a new card. I burn it, second one's a Patriot, I'm gonna play. Okay, now we're flipping, and this is probably the hardest conceptual part to understand of Boston Massacre. If I am a red coat, and I pick up a red coat, or first of all, let's say I pick up a Patriot, right? So if I'm a red coat and I pick up a Patriot, I have two options. I can lie and say it's a red coat so that they'll burn guns for me, so we're gonna say Jay's guns back. I can lie and say it's uh, a red coat so that they burn for me, or I can play it for trust. I can play a Patriot down on the board. So in this instance, I'm gonna say um, it's a red coat. Let's say he burns and I get the next one, okay? Now, the hardest part is if I'm a red coat and I get a red coat, what do I do? And you can just play it on the board, but that exposes your identity. So you also at sometimes have to rely on the fact that the ratio of these are more red coats to Patriots. So by you burning a Patriot, it can be advantageous to once again, just be like, I got a red coat telling the truth so that he burns. And maybe this third one is also a red coat. And then you're like, dang it, it didn't work. Or maybe you, you're like, I think you should burn, but you're maybe a little bit suspicious about it. Like, I think you should burn. And then Jay's reading me and he's like, you know what? I don't think, I don't think you're good. Good game. And he makes me play. <laughs> Anyways, that's our tutorial. <laughs>